What's up y'all? Happy Wednesday. Today I'm going to show you how to create stickers just like these or like these that you can use as feedback for your students. And then I'll show you how to save them in Keep to make it easy to access to drop it in a doc or a slide. Okay, so very first thing you have to do is create the sticker and to do that we're going to use Google Drawings. So I'm going to go to my drive then I'll select new, more, Google Drawings. Okay, the very first thing you wanna do is name your drawing. So I will just call this Awesome Job. Okay, I have to change the layout. So I'm going to click on File, Page Setup. And I will change it from Standard to Custom and do a two by two or a three by three and click apply. Okay, so I want it to look like a sticker. So I'm gonna add a shape to the background so it's got like a background on it. And so a lot of stickers are circular. So I'm gonna click on shapes, then hover over shapes and choose the circle. And then I will just draw my circle. I can use the fill tool to change the color. I can use the line color to change the outline. And then I'm done. Okay, so you can add an image. So I could actually go to insert image and use Google to search the web to find an image that I want. Or if you have the Bitmoji extension added, you can click your Bitmoji extension, find the Bitmoji that you want and just click and drag it on here. And then you'll just need to resize and move it around as needed. Okay. You can just do this sticker if you want, or if you want to add text, you can do either insert text box or insert word art. The difference between the two is with a text box, you're able to change the font and choose whatever font you want. With word art, the only thing you can do is change the color. So I'll show you word art real quick. And so I'm just going to type in awesome job and hit enter. So it's going to add it to my page. I can move it around. I can change the color. So same thing with this. I'll do the fill tool and I'll make it just dark. Let me see. I'm going to move this down a little bit and move this. Okay. So we'll just pretend I need to make my circle a little bit bigger and move that over a smidgen. There we go. Okay. Not perfect, but we'll pretend like it's what I want. So then the next thing you do when you're done with your sticker, you're going to go to file download and download it as a PNG. Okay. The PNG will have a transparent background, which is super helpful. So it's downloaded. The next thing you're going to do is go to keep. And so I'm in my praise one, which this is a praise one. So I'm just going to add it in here. I've got my label. So you're going to do it Nuno with image, and then I will go to my downloads. There it is. And I'm going to say open. It's in here. So I'll say close. And there it is. So just to show you in a doc like this, if this was a student work um, that I was looking at, what I can do is from here, notice that you have your little shortcuts. I can click on my keep shortcut. And if I search up here for praise, it's going to show me all of my praise stickers that I have labeled praise, which is perfect. So all I do is I can click and drop and it will add it to the page wherever I want. I can wrap the text, move it around, and add a sticker to the student's work as a way to do feedback. So just create your stickers as you want in Google Drawings, save them as a PNG, and then stick them in Keep so you have a quick way to access them. Easy breezy. Hope this helps. Happy Wednesday.